Hey ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the Snack Shack. So in this episode, we've had a little bit of a situation occur. Um, call it growing pains. I was setting up push to talk as well as uh, record hotkeys and accidentally made the record hotkeys and the push to talk hotkeys a little too similar. So when I was talking, if I pressed a certain button, it just ended the recording. So we've had a little bit happen along the way. I might try and chop that chunk into the beginning of this video if it's not too here and there or if I even have anything. Um, but anyways, we've had some things happen to Wilson and Afton along the way while you guys were gone. As you can see in the bottom right, we've opened the Ancient Danger, and that's because we've had a combat supplier come and visit. Now we've... Ooh. Perfect. We've already had a situation, as you can see, where we've pulled the insects out. We found some pretty good stuff. We found an Arcotech eraser. We found a Mega Screen TV, some Luciferium, some jelly. It looks like we're going to be getting a... At this point, the microphone cuts out. Uh, we get ourselves a revolver. Uh, we go ahead and equip that on Wilson. We also go ahead and take all of the things that we've got from this uh, ancient danger, and we start to haul it back into the base. Now, what we're going to do with the Luciferium, the Architect Eraser, and all of the other goodies that we found is we're going to go ahead and take them over to the caravan and get them sold off. Get the last of this Luciferium all picked up, and this jelly and get trading with this guy. And then we are also going to look at opening some of these caskets over here. I'm just concerned about getting somebody that doesn't like us too much. I don't need Wilson dying this early on. It would be problematic, to say the least. It would kind of end the whole series. Okay, so Wilson, you're not going to consume the insect jelly. No, no. No, no. You're going to go trade with the combat guy over here get this sorted out and we're gonna sell oh nice Arfton is uh riding around on the horse or not the horse but the uh the lion that we picked up using that fellow as a good old-fashioned mount we're getting all the rest of the stuff picking up or picked up out of the ancient danger and i'm gonna go ahead and have wilson go over here and start trading because he attempts to consume some of the jelly we can't have him doing that so let's get him trading here and let's see what we've got to work with. Okay, so we can sell all of our jelly. We can sell our medicine and our luciferium and our Arcotech. Let's see, does he have anything? We, ooh, we can pick up the hauler base station. These are really good. I do enjoy having a fellow who can haul for me. Um, so we're going to pick that up and see anything else in here nothing necessarily that we would want maybe some of the components we're gonna go ahead and accept this oh actually if we do that we lose our 227 gold so what we're gonna do is see if we can pick up anything else and see if we can scrounge out any extra coins from this guy so we're gonna get rid of a little bit of the luciferium and there we go so i'm okay with only losing 17 coins that's that's perfectly fine so we do that, we're going to go ahead and have the hauler station hauled. <laughs> Haul the hauler station. And it looks like our guardy buddies are taking some pot shots. So we're going to get all of these goodies picked up. And open up these cryotechs and see if we see anything good. Okay, there's quite a few people in here. Um, I'm going to have Wilson back up. And they're shooting at somebody. Uh, let's see. Get him out of here. Oh, 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 he's shooting. Oh, it looks like they're shooting at rats or something. Doesn't look like there's anything that's there to target Wilson. Oh, let's get this worker ant here. We're going to go ahead and shoot up this worker ant and get you taken care of. And got him. Okay, now we're going to finish this guy off. And we are actually going to go ahead and take a look at resing him. He will be our second undead worker perfect and now that worker ant's gonna get to work hauling them components see if we see anything else oh we're gonna go ahead and capture this android here he's a t4 we could use that so we're gonna go ahead and set up a little prisoner station for him in here perfect get that oh get that down okay now make that for prisoners and for medical afton and for for medical there we go 
Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and haul this guy, get him captured up, and get him healing, make sure he doesn't die on us. We could definitely use that, although even if he did die, we could get that sorted out. We're also gonna get on hauling all of our goodies back to the base. I'm uh, really glad that we didn't actually run into anything major with that ancient danger. It was just some fellows who were sleeping on the job, it looked like. Okay, now we're continuing to get everything sorted out, get on that butcher job, get us some meats, we need some food, we are getting low on the snacks, if you know what I'm saying. Okay, and it looks like our relations with the Ancients have broken down, so our new prisoner is hostile with us, or at least his faction is. I don't think he's hostile with us, but we don't know until he wakes up. So we're going to get him focused on bringing the boy back to town. Our milkshakes are bringing the boys to the yard, so to speak. And boy howdy can I say, they are some good milkshakes. And we're getting him taken care of, his tens are doing pretty well, doesn't look like he's going to die on us or anything like that. In the meantime, we're going to have Afton drop his charge SMG so that Wilson can pick that bad boy up because he is the better shot. Undraft him to get him good to go. Make him drop his revolver first and get him to equip the charge SMG. Here we go. And now we're going to have Afton pick up the revolver. Just, you know, get the weapons, get the good weapons equipped on the good people, the bad weapons equipped on the bad people. That's, that's how it works to me. Afton riding the worker ant. Get it done. Now our goal is going to be to okay, get our prisoner taken care of so let's get a prison built so we're gonna have to go ahead and re-allow these blocks here so get those built now we need to get a door built or well I guess unbuilt an entranceway to our prisoners area so they can get in and out um, I like the idea of having it in the back here so that when the prisoner if the prisoner does try and escape hey look at him riding around on the ant if the prisoner does try and escape, he has to at least work his way through our base so we have the opportunity to pick him up as opposed to, you know, having him just run willy-nilly off into the sunset. We're going to go ahead and select all of these and claim them and then deconstruct them so we get the resources from those. I think we get some good steel or something like that. And look at our zombie uh, lion carrying some plasteel. We're getting these walls built up pretty good. They're coming along so far so good. Um, I like our little archery spot here. <laughs> I like that they ride around on the animals. This is the giddy up mod, by the way. They'll use animals to go to and from from an area if it would make them move faster. And it's just cool watching them ride around and just, you know, riding in style. I wish I could get sunglasses for these guys. In fact, I do have a mod to get sunglasses for these guys. Now I'm going to get this uh, stone hauled out of here so we have some more room in our storage area and finish up the last of the walls here. And we're going to zone our dumping area for, this will be for slat, like uh, stones and slate and bodies and all that good stuff. It looks like there's a mega scarab over here eating a body. I thought they were all dead but it doesn't look like they all died. Uh, in fact, there's one, two, three, four, five mega scarabs on the map still alive. I guess passive insects invasion, I guess. It'll be okay. Um, there's not much on the map that we can work with. Not many resources. So we're just going to have to stick with what we got. We might need to set up a quarry or something. Let's see. Oh, it looks like... Let's get this built here. We're going to get a prisoner room built and build some walls for that there prisoner. Go from about here. And perfect. We'll pop the door in. Perfect. That's a perfect little prisoner room right in the back corner. We'll make it medical too just so he has a spot he can go. And prioritize getting that built just so we have that sorted out. Okay. And now he's going to be getting to work. Oh, it looks like our prisoner is trying to escape. Let's see what happens. Hopefully we can get him before anything major happens to him. Oh, and he's gone through. And he's and he's dead. Well, um, worker, worker pets, undead worker pets. We don't need undead people, so to speak. We have Afton. Afton is all the help we need right now. And our traps. 
We still haven't gotten a raid yet. I'm A-OK -okay with that. It gives us a little more time to set up. This is Randy Random at 500%, so I don't know what he's doing. But hey, you know, I'll take it. If he's if he's being chill. If he's being chill, you know, hey, then that is A-OK -okay with me. I will take a raid when a raid comes. And it looks like our rice haul is finally coming through. Our starvation days are over. So it's, it's a good day in the deserts of Bliss Desert. We are blissful. In fact, I think what we're going to do is grow Psychoid or Smoke Leaf um, and really just focus in on that android debauchery. Hey, look, we have some people in the corner here. And I'm going to start decreasing the size of that stockpiles so they have less to deal with. We're going to want to go on another car caravan here shortly, um, but let's get these stockpiles sorted out. Get these all minimized so they have less area to clean, less area to deal with. And hopefully, if a fire comes, they don't run around through the whole place and try and put the whole fire out. So let's get this shrunk down. And you guys let me know in the comments if you want me to cut these sections out. I'm just kind of going willy-nilly, flying through with what we do. Um, let's see. Okay, we're getting our traps rebuilt. We're looking good. Getting some bodies hauled. Everything's looking good. We're going to get the Roomba set up. And then we will have a hauler to help haul further, further hauling. Haul. Turn on. Begin hauling. Hey, there he goes. And he's off. Getting that rice. Bring that rice home. Bring it home to Papa. Okay, let's see. Time to get a research bench set up. Let's get this going here. And we're going to have Reese Wilson just research. Build, build, research, research, build. Okay, Wilson, what are you doing? Get back to work, man. Get this research going. Okay, we got to fix his work priorities here. So take him off of cooking and jailing and wardening. Well, actually, wardening and jailing is okay. Handling, I guess. Um, if we do run into problems, what we're going to do is we're going to dead outside of our base. So I might actually build a door. Oh, here we go. We're getting the batteries. And yeah, I might actually have to build a doorway right there in the prisoner area so that we can raise those un those dead and make them undead and let them fight for me. And hopefully Wilson won't actually have to raise a finger in the event of a war or battle or raid, siege, invasion. Let's get Afton on a, on a caravan. Let's get him going. Make something happen here. Afton, while we are waiting, let's see. Afton, get going, get gone, make something happen here. Well, we, have, we haven't sent you yet, but Wilson, let's see. You're doing research, and we're out of power at the moment. Hopefully that power comes back so our hollerbot gets back to work because he needs more food to survive. Wilson, get that tech going. We need batteries, man. We need to be able to store energy. Okay, let's see. Set up a caravan here. Send that off. And here we go. We could take the hauling pot, but no, we'll take Afton. He really can't carry a lot, though. Let's grab the Luciferium. Let's grab, let's see, uh, what else do we have to trade? Mm, yeah, we'll grab the short bows, I guess. They're, so they say they're worth a lot here. Eh, we'll grab the gold. We'll see what it's all worth once we get there. Uh, I could take the dead body. Nah, not worth. Okay, send it off. Here we go. And those guys are going to go out. Well, Afton's going to go collect all of his goodies up, and then he's going to be off. And while we wait for Afton to get to where we're going, we're going to have Wilson speed up time and get to researching. Let me know the things that you learn, Wilson. He's going to take a serious minute, though, to do anything, because his research levels are so low. And let's see here. This is, I guess, a second lion that we have. Lion versus lion, maybe. We might see a little combat. Who knows? Who knows? Now, best case scenario, this lion actually walks into these traps right here, and we don't even have to do anything about it, because that's free dinner, and nothing like free dinner. Hey, it looks like our caravan has made it to its destination. Okay, we'll do a little trade in here, trade off our luciferium, trade off our bows, and our gold, 
And let's see what we can pick up. Um, <laughs> what do we need right now? Uh, we could use components, in fact, pick up a couple components here, maybe build another Android. I think we have six right now, so it'll get us up to eight, hopefully, and then we will be able to get that sorted out. And let's see, it looks like we are good. Mm, pick up some cloth. You know what we can make is one of those, oop, too much, is one of those uh, melee uh, dummies and get some training going and I guess we'll spend a bit more money on pemmican maybe spend the rest of our money here on pemmican and send it back home and with that we will have made a productive caravan run with Afterin our android of the future the T1 the sunny to my Skynet so to speak okay let's see Oh, and it looks like we've got a mana situation going on here. It looks beneficial, though, so uh, Wilson should be getting some increased mana regeneration while he's doing this research. And we are coming up on the end of the video here, ladies and gentlemen, so let me know in the comments what you want to name our lion buddy if you do, and if I should, in fact, bring back Atlas as an undead zombie, or if I should build another T1 instead.